Hi, right, Sophie King Drunk back again in the Kitchen of Dreams with yet another attempt of a perfect draft review. This one <coughs> needs no introductions because it is the legend. It is the Thickstens All Peculiar 5.6 on a Richter scale. I just saw this come out last week and I thought I need to get this. But I have got the All Perfect Draft machine which freezes the balls off it. So what I have done about 25 minutes ago is poured one off to let the temperature come up but I will give you the the noise pour as you'll get it any second Thixton's is something that uh, I fell in love with a long long time ago lovely stuff absolutely lovely stuff So here we have it in the glass, usual big fluffy head you're going to get anyway with a pour. But as I said that one's just come out, <clears throat> here's the one I've had for about the last 25 minutes uh, on the side, temperature's come up, maybe sitting about, maybe between, maybe about 6 degrees maybe now. So anyway let's go in for the nose of the Thixtons. Absolutely fantastic. First thing that comes up uh, to greet me is all the dark, dark fruit. You've got your figs, you've got your prunes, a little bit of cherry. The malt, very, very strong, malty backbone to the beer as well. But it's all about the taste. So, anyway, so for King Drunk, drinking a, a Thixton's Old Peculiar. A legend at 5.6 in a Richter on a perfect on a perfect draft. Sanjeeva. Oh, that is smooth. <clears throat> Lovely sweetness of all the dark fruits, raisins, dates, all that kind of stuff. And then the background is a sort of like a sort of a harshness to override the sweetness, which balances out really well with a lovely sort of like dark, sort of like chocolate note in there as well, fighting against everything. Everyone, everybody in there wants a piece of this beer. This is absolutely fantastic. The only thing is, if you're like me and you've got the old perfect draft machine, the only way around it is not to, it's basically just to pour a pint off and leave it. And every time you go up to get a pint out of it, make sure there's one sitting waiting for you um, <clears throat> and give it, I don't know how length it takes you to drink a pint. Usually do a pint every 25, 30 minutes. <coughs> if you're sitting watching football or something like that beers like that you can't really freeze them uh, because you just lose everything in the taste this is outstanding I got two kegs of it uh, I know there's deals if you got the three kegs you get a fifth off uh, two kegs are enough for me but this is outstanding stuff is it one I'm going to drink again? yes it is I think it's billed as a limited edition. I would like to hope that it's going to be out every year. Uh, it's got introduced now in February, which, okay, still part of the British UK winter. Uh, this to me is a go-to type of beer uh, in the in the dark, the dark uh, cold nights, especially on cask. It's amazing keg does a lot for it as well. I'm going to try a shout out to Dawn's Beer Reviews. If you've not heard of Dawn, uh, <clears throat> check him out. This is one of Dawn's tricks. And it's, you get a syringe and you go into the beer and then you put it back in. 
Now I'm thinking to myself, because I've degassed it, maybe I'm going to get a cask <laughs> effect. Certainly got a lovely big fluffy head on it now. So anyway, let's go in again. Oh my God, Don. Oh, that is amazing. You've got to try that. Anyone's got a perfect draft. <coughs> oh, peculiar. Just get a syringe. I've seen Don done it a few times. And I went away and got a syringe. Just to try it. Sometimes you get a beer that's a little bit gassy for you. And this kind of degasses it a little bit. That's actually putting it like it's, it's like as if it was poured in cask. Not gig. Nice soft glide. Oh hi, that's fantastic. So anyway, what am I going to give the Dixon Soul Peculiar on the perfect draft? 5.6 on the Richter scale for the legend that is the Old Peculiar. I'm going to give that a Sofa King drunk rating of... That's going to get a 4.9 out of 5. 4.9 out of 5. If you like your dark beers, which I do, my go-to is like Guinness. I like stuff that that one. New one, it's out, the Conor McGregor one, the Forge Irish. I am a stout drinker. This chap's on the door for me as well. Dark beer. Uh, well worth the pennies. When you think of it, what, what a price in a pub is. Uh, I think I worked in it. I, 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 I wouldn't like to think what it worked in it. Maybe <clears throat> oh, your discounts and stuff like that. Maybe about 3 50 a pint or something like that. Shoot me if I'm wrong. But anyway, 4.9 from Sofa King Drunk. So anyway, if you've had the Thixton's all peculiar before and you've seen it in a perfect draft, I recommend it. Really, really good drinking experience. But if you've got not got the perfect draft pro, you need to pour one at the side if you've got the old machine. Uh, and then obviously the syringe degasses it and it gives it a lovely creamy flow. Thanks for that, Don. Check Don's channel out, by the way. Show him some love. Ciao for now, hopefully catch you uh, in another perfect draft review real soon. Sanji Va, ciao for now.